everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I have been asked to be part of the uh, YouTube Advent Hop. Uh, I was last year, it's an honor to be asked back. So, I have an actual script because I'm no good at this stuff. For tomorrow's video and all the other Advent creative videos, please head over to the Facebook group Live Art Journaling and self-development to see the pinned post. You can also find any you may have missed. That's wonderful. Every day a new video will come out for create, from creative talents across this big wide world. Subscribe to this page and make a comment before heading over to the group. We have some exciting prizes to be announced at the end of the hop, chosen from those who subscribe and comment. So I chose to make a jellyfish today um, with sewing pattern. Let's see if I can get his tentacles to play along. So handcrafted with sewing pattern and Mod Podge and sewing pattern and Mod Podge and some hand stitching. So that's what we're going to play with today for our part of the YouTube Advent Hop. So, um, yep. See you on the table. Today our project is making a jellyfish with sewing pattern, hand stitching, stabilo, embroidery floss, hard coat Mod Podge. So much fun. This hangs up like this. All the tentacles will hang down. There's the top of the jellyfish. So it's a little hanging uh, art piece. So much fun to create. I'm here for inspiration only, and this was really, really fun. <laughs> okay, my supplies are a bowl, a plastic wrap, Mod Podge hard coat, and strips of sewing pattern. I'm going to cover the bowl with plastic wrap. I have my bowl completely covered with plastic wrap. I'm going to bring in my hard coat Mod Podge, my baby blue, believe it or not it's blue under there, and my strips of sewing pattern. I'm covering the bowl with the hard coat Mod Podge and I'm going to start laying the sewing pattern pieces on the bowl. Should be a nice messy project. The bottom has about three layers on it, so I'm just bringing in some shorter pieces and just working up the sides. I'm going to keep building it up. So I can no longer see the color of the bowl through the sewing pattern. I'm going to set it up on a little flower pot and let it dry for the night. Okay, good morning. Dark o'clock, second cup of coffee in hand. We're going to try to work this bowl out of here. <laughs> Just keep working it around. The plastic will come off the bowl. It's just a very tight fit. So some of the edges are fragile, so I'm going around with a layer just around the bottom of the jellyfish with the uh, hard coat and a strip of sewing pattern. So any tears that happened when you were removing the bowl from the jellyfish will all be repaired 
with a strip of sewing pattern. I went around the edge with some sewing pattern and the hard coat. I'm going to set this aside. I'm bringing in my, my spray box and lots of sewing pattern. This is Lindy's, uh, I'm hoping it's a shimmer, Caribbean Blue. Maybe it's a shimmer. So I sprayed the jellyfish a little bit and the sewing pattern. And we'll let everything dry. I'm bringing in my Teflon sheet, a non-stick surface. You can use plastic or glass. Any of those things will work. I'm going to put down some hard coat Mod Podge on the Teflon sheet. down one of the beautiful pattern pieces. Apply Mod Podge to your nonstick surface. Lay down a piece of pattern. Put Mod Podge on top of the piece of pattern. Fold it over. Mod Podge, Mod Podge in between and on top. So I'll do that with as many of the uh, tentacles, we're creating the tentacles. I'll do that with as many of the tentacles as I can fit on this nonstick surface. So Mod Podge, sewing pattern. Mod Podge, and I am using the hard coat for this. Fold it over wherever that lands and Mod Podge. All right, I got as many as I could on this sheet. I'm going to let this dry. So some of these are dry, some of these are not dry. They're dry enough to peel off. You'll get a wonky edge, hopefully. And just peel your sewing pattern, your new tentacles, off your non-stick area. Beautiful. All right, continue to peel when they're dry enough. Taking the tentacles while they're still pliable and crinkling them up so that they are not straight. All right, I have all the tentacles scrunched up. We're gonna let those dry and harden a little bit. They already sound yummy. I'm gonna take a tentacle, a blunt nose needle with a large eye, embroid embroidery floss, loop that around the tentacle, tie that in place. Poke a hole with my needle in my jellyfish. And tie that off. Doesn't have to be too tight. They're going to wiggle around for sure. some threads. 
I'm going to do that with as many tentacles as I can around in that circle. So let's go through one more time how the tentacles are attached. I just tie a knot, grab a tentacle, any tentacle will do. Rumbly tumbly. All right. I poked holes so I know exactly where the tentacles are going. Slide my needle up into a hole. Make a knot. Make another knot. Leave some fun string and continue on. So fun! So here's the jellyfish so far. Oh my goodness, so fun. This is all that I have left. I may or may not use that. We'll see. The tentacles are yummy, noisy. <laughs> so beautiful. I sprayed some of the sewing pattern with the uh, Caribbean Blue Lindy's spray. Cut it into scallops. And I'm going to go around the edge and apply scallops to the edge. Have the scallops on. I'll let everything dry and then I'll do a little bit more hand stitching. So I put a little loop on the top. This is where I sewed the tentacles on. I added the little scallops around the edge. Just some hand stitching here. I just poked a hole, brought the thread through, and tied a knot. Hey, come here. And then I went on some of the tentacles and just did a running stitch on some of the tentacles. That's beautiful. I'm going to bring my stabilo in just because I'm that kind of girl and I'm going to go around the edge here with my stabilo. And I am a spit and smudge girl. So I'm going to shadow that in a little bit. I'll go around the rim here, and then I'm going to go around the scallops. What the Stabilo does for me is it just adds a little bit of dimension, some shadows in there. And I'll go around the scallops and do the same thing. I'll go around the scallops, do the same thing, shadow them in. So I went around the scallops. What I'm doing now is I'm going along the edge with my stabilo. Just low lighting it on the edge. And here's our yummy jellyfish. So beautiful. All right, your turn. Go create, go play. Go have fun.